Welcome YouTube to the Katie Hill Farmer channel. Uh, I wanted to talk about wood stoves today. And uh, I actually just took this wood stove out of service. I've had it for multiple years and it has been a good wood stove. The only issues in uh, that I had with it is a little crack in the glass there and I forget even what happened to it. And like I said, as you can see, it's been used. It has some rust, nothing that you couldn't clean up. Uh, I'm probably going to sell this wood stove pretty cheap. And uh, the model of this wood stove is a New Englander. I believe it's the 30 in the 30 series or 35 series. It will heat up to 2,000 square feet. And it has the 6-inch discharge on the top. And... Uh, it has the reburn system inside of it and has the, I think we can see them up here, the carbon boards up top right there. So anyhow, to go over the stove, it has a spot for a blur back here, which I took that off and I just put a fan behind it. So, uh, it, like I said, it's, it was the cheaper way of doing it without getting a blower, so I kind of liked it. And the back gives you all the spacing, that's what you gotta be away, 16 inches from the front, three, what is that, nine inches on the side, so on and so forth. And it don't, it actually don't say which model it is on the back, but I believe it is the 30 NCL. And I'll link, I'll leave a link below to where you can get them. But these are, uh, you can't put these in manufactured homes or because uh, a lot of stoves, you know, they draw a lot of your oxygen out of your house. And if you have a tightly sealed house, you don't want to starve yourself for oxygen. So that being said, you want to make sure i'm hoping you can see this but there's a three inch pipe right there where you can take that if you have a mobile home and put a like a piece of dryer vent or or something like that it's probably a three inch and run it outside so you can draw your air from outside <clears throat> so and it even says one here uh, for use in mobile homes this is an energy efficient stove and like i said it's made from uh england stove works in moreau virginia is where they're out of it says so uh yeah like i said with that being said you can get a blur it's a well-made stove i have to say like i said it's done me well it does have some rust issues on it uh but I, I just, the only reason I took it out of service because I found a stove that I've been wanting that are hard to come by and they say they're possibly the best stove on the market or that was ever made, which is up for discussion. But this stove comes with this base like you see here, or you can get, uh, I have them somewhere, there's a set of feet that you can put on them also. Uh, like I said, the blower mounts right here. The screws are already in there. Uh, like I said, with this heat shield back here, you hardly ever got any heat. So I just took a $10 box fan from Walmart and put it behind the stove and that would circulate your air. So like I said, it's got a six inch exhaust and you can see your carbon boards inside. Uh, We'll go to the front of the stove here and we'll take a look inside and I'll show you the reburn system and <coughs> you got your gasket around the front which like I said you can see this stove I've used it for years and it's still in good shape so I got a little light here to help us you got your fire brick in there, which I do have a couple. There's one cracked in there, but nothing too bad. 
and uh, the main important thing I want to show is there is your reburn system tubes. So what that those tubes do is the gas that comes out of those tubes from your wood it ignites it again. You'll see like a blue flame shooting out of those tubes when this is burning. You know, right where those holes are, that's where you, you you will see your blue flame come out of those holes. And what it's doing is it's doing a reburn of the gases so you get the most efficiency out of your stove. Uh, when I bought this stove, you could get actually a discount on your taxes with it, and which I did. So it pretty well paid for you know more than half of the stove, but. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it is the firebox is kind of small. You could pretty well, you had to cut your, split your wood small and you could stack it up in there as high as you wanted, but you could pretty much only get two rows. Uh, it does have an ash pan so you can clean it, you know, you just pull that out right there and you can see goes down in there and you got a drawer right here pull this drawer out and you can empty your ashes that way i just shoveled it out and uh that worked well for me uh this stove like i said it did heat our home uh before we moved to the farm here we uh had a place and it was pretty drafty the gas bill was outrageous so I decided to get this wood burner and it did help us out a lot. Uh, I would say you can really lower your gas prices and uh, a lot, you know, depending on how well you want to tend to this stove. Uh, I will say if you do have a drafty house and you uh you don't keep up with the burning of this stove you know keep adding wood to it you know it is going to get cooler but if you have a well insulated house you know you can turn your draft control down to pretty much nothing and you you'll heat a this would heat a uh, well insulated house without issues and not use that much wood at all uh, with that being said, this is your draft control. All it is, and from what I've read in the back, there's a slide plate and it just slides over that three inch pipe I showed you in the back and just slides over top of that and controls your air. Now this ain't like some of your older stoves where if you close that draft control, you're going to snuff your fire out and, uh, it won't do it with this stove. It'll still pull a little bit of air through there. And I'll try to show you this. There is a little hole. That's where your air comes out. And you can pretty well see when you have a fire going that the air coming in through the firebox itself and how it works. And, uh, but yeah, guys, this was used a stove for, oh man, probably six eight years and it really done us good and like i said it's in pretty good condition uh the only reason it does have the rust on it right now is when we moved up here i uh, had it out in the shed and it got some moisture which it's just surface rust it'll clean right up i mean no issues with that if i'll put a price on it if it don't sell i probably will uh, go get some paint paint it up and make it look nice but here are some dimensions of your firebox uh, from the fire brick. You can see it's about uh, 19 and a half. You can see that right there. And wide. Let me put you guys down here for a minute. It is roughly 20 inches wide. So. Take that in consideration, like I said, well insulated home, or even uh, if you had this in your living room and 
it would do a great job. Like I said, it, it will run you out uh, of that room if you don't control your damper or air. Uh, one thing, like I said, I would say about this stove is that I did not like is the small firebox. Uh, with that being said, uh, I think uh, this stove was probably uh, around the eight nine hundred dollar range when I bought it, and it was worth every penny. Like I said, it had a tax break because it has that reburn system in it that we just showed you. So, if you're looking at it for a way to kind of lower your heating cost, you know this could be uh, an option for you. I, I noticed a lot of people use electric heat, and which is good, but if your electric's cheaper than gas, but most of the time your electric's not going to be cheaper than gas in the where I live. Uh, but it's on what you prefer. But anyhow, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this stove, uh, please feel free to ask and just comment below. I'll answer them for you. And uh, also be on the lookout for what actually replaced this stove. Like I said, uh, if you want to guess, I think they built in the 70s and 80s. But it's not an EPA efficient stove by any means. But believe me, it does one heck of a job. So uh, if you ain't already and you guys like the content that you see on the channel, you know, go check out some other videos and uh, subscribe. It, also, uh, hit a thumbs up for this video. We uh, I think I'm at 12,500 some subscribers right now, which is awesome. But uh, I think the channel's grown great. But uh, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Katie Hill Farmer out.